Hi everyone. Today I decided to make a, a video answering the tw 10 questions tagged by My Sweet Cupcake. And I was hoping to make this video actually outside under the cool because the weather is so nice today. But, you know, my neighbors... You know, they, they're just in and out, in and out, in and out. And I really, you know, didn't want to get into any conversation about me and the dolls. So I decided that I'll just make my video right here in the privacy of my bedroom. So here's my Bryce. And... um I'm going to be changing him into this simple onesie, which is also for onesie Wednesday. And I'll use this t-shirt as his undershirt that says handsome. And these are both by Cardis. They're three months. I'm not going to give him a pompous change. I just changed them earlier and I'm just loving the way his pompous look. You can see his boom boom in the back because I've padded it with pompous. And I find that when I put two pampas in his pampas, it, it gives him that look that I like. Now, I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to work with his clothing because, you know, that means that he'll probably need a little bigger size. I don't know. But the three months are pretty full, so maybe, you know, maybe the three months would work pretty good. So, the first question is, are you a working... Are you a working or stay-at-home mom? Well, actually, the answer to that question is yes and no. I am both a stay-at-home mom and also a working mom. What I do allows me the uh, allows me to work at home, actually, which means I get the best of both worlds. I can work at home and uh, be able to spend as much time needed with my babies. I hope that answers your question for number one. Number two is, what is your favorite time of day with your reborn? I would have to say either early in the morning or late in the evening because basically during the day, I'm busy doing, you know, work, whether it's house chores or or work, because I also, my husband is self-employed, which means that, you know, there's, you know, he's going to need my help with many things. So if I'm not doing something for the house or for myself, then I'm busy helping him do something that he needs done for work, whether it's office work like paperwork, writing letters, or filing, or, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm pretty busy during the day. The third question is, do you co-sleep? You know, I do not co-sleep because my husband doesn't allow the babies in the bed. But I will say that when he travels and he's not at home, I have I have slept with my babies before. And I don't uh, make it a habit because, you know, my little girl talks everything. And I don't want her to go back and tell her dad, well, you know, mommy slept with the babies in the bed. So I like to be careful, you know, when I do that, that she doesn't really see me sleep with the baby. You know, so all right, so question number four your number one baby gear. My number one baby gear. I actually have a stroller. I have a stroller uh that belonged to my daughter and I Actually, I had a few strollers and I had given away all the other strollers. So I'm left with one really nice heavy-duty stroller. But I've never used it. I've never, you know, uh, put my baby in the stroller or went walking 
or any of that stuff. So in terms of what I use right now, I would have to say maybe my bouncer. I just got a brand new bouncer and uh, so far I've been making like videos, uh, changing videos using the bouncer. So I would have to say the bouncer. So next question is, how many rebounds do you think or plan on having or what will be the next? Now that's a tricky question because actually I had planned to get only three babies because I have three biological children. I have two girls and a boy. I have the oldest is a girl, the second is a boy, and the last is the girl. So that's also the order that I wanted my babies in. Like my my uh, Emma, she is my first. Uh, Bryce is my second. And my next, I would love to have a sleeping baby girl. Now, I haven't decided on all the other details, but so far, I do know that baby number three, I do prefer to be a sleeping baby and also a little girl. But in terms of how much babies, you know, I really think that I would like to get, well, at first I was saying three, but I learned that, you know, with the different kits coming out, there's many other kits that I really like. I love the Noah kit. I love the Thomas kit by Bountiful Baby. And um, there's a few other kits that I also like, like the Usher kit also by Bountiful Babies. So, you know, it's hard to say exactly how much, but I'm thinking maybe five the most. Okay, so my next question is, does your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend support your hobby? And if so, how? Now, my husband supports my hobby in that um, he encourages me to make the videos. He knows I enjoy making the videos and he's fine with that. And um, he knows my love for dolls and he's fine for that. He bought me a few dolls for birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, you know, all that good stuff. Now, the issue came about with the rebounds because he felt that the babies were so, uh, you know, that they looked so real. He felt like these were, the reborn babies were really too personal. That therefore, persons who don't have children or not able to adopt, you know, that they can love the rebounds as their own but after having Emma for a few weeks before Bryce came you know I mean he's you know he really don't say anything about the rebounds anymore and I um and I respect his view so therefore I don't allow him to meet the babies in the bed he know I make the videos I've asked for privacy and he give it to me so that's his way in which he supports me and if I want another baby, he has seen Bryce. He didn't say anything about Bryce or ask, well, why did you buy another baby even after I told you? No, he didn't do any of that. I agreed that, you know, I would treat the reborn babies the same as all my other dolls, like my American Girl dolls and my, my twin dolls. And so what I do is at night, I would, not just at night, all they're basically with the other dolls all the time except for when I choose to cuddle with them or make videos and that's you know that I normally I'm I do that privately meaning that I don't allow my husband to see me you know especially with the reborns like he's seeing me make videos with the American girl dolls or the my twin dolls and he's fine it's just that I really didn't want him to see me doing the role play you know, treating the baby as a real baby, feeding the baby a bottle, changing the baby pampers. Now, I don't know, you know, how he would feel about that, you know. But again, like I say, he's completely fine with me collecting dolls. He's completely fine with, the, with me making videos. So in terms of the role playing, 
uh, I'll have to wait a little longer before I can say. I have to wait a little longer before I say whether he has completely gotten over the idea of the reborn babies. Okay, so what's the next question? How do you make your reborns look real? Or when you take them out or photo shoots? Well, I've taken my baby girl Emma to visit my family in Freeport a few weeks back and I really didn't do anything to try to make her look real when I uh, traveled I packed her in my overnight bag and uh, I didn't take her out for anyone to see just my family members and they were fine with her I didn't think I needed to make her look any more real than she looked but in terms of my photo shoots, what I do is I, I would look and see the way newborn babies are photographed, the way the photographer would pose the babies, stuff like that. That's what I would do to make the pictures look more realistic as if it's, it's an actual newborn baby that's, you know, being posed for the pictures, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic so next question is do you take your reborn on vacation with you ah uh, no I don't not on vacation I find that it's um, when you travel with your baby when you travel with your baby it's it's I don't know I've, I I didn't really enjoy traveling with my baby because like I said before in another video, I didn't like the idea of security making fun of my baby or laughing and calling their friends over. I didn't enjoy that at all, you know. And another reason why I wouldn't is because when I visit my family, it was just my daughter and I. My husband was not traveling with us. So if I'm on vacation, that means most likely my husband will be there, so definitely not. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure my husband would not agree with me traveling with the baby. I'm pretty sure of that, you know. So my next question is, do you, or do you take your reborns for a walk? Uh, again, no. Even though I have a stroller, I've never done it. You know, maybe one day I will. And because, you know, I, you know, that's, that's a good way that you can get a little exercise in. But, or maybe if it's cool, you know, I don't want to take my baby out for a walk and it's hot. So if it's, if the weather is good and it's cool and, um, I don't know, I guess if it's just my daughter and I, then I don't mind taking a little stroll, but I've not done it yet, you know, but really I don't have a problem doing it maybe later. So my, I think this is my last and final question. Are you a reborn artist or would want to be or, or want to be okay so are you a reborn artist or want to be no I am not a reborn artist and in terms of me wanting to be one I would love to actually I you know I guess it's also because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I also work from home I can I can see myself finding the time to make a baby now the problem is that I I'm not that art artistic I don't know like what it in entails I don't know whether I need to have that um, I mean I have certificate in art but I am not you know, I don't know, maybe something that I would need training, definitely. But I, I, I would have to say, yes, I would love to, maybe one day. Yes, I mean, I, why not? I love to rebonds. I love role-playing with them. And, um, yeah, one day, maybe. Uh, I would love to, if, I, if it's possible. So far, it's not possible. Because, um where I live I don't even have access to proper stores if I need to purchase something 
you know, say if I need to get something in terms of painting uh, or anything to do with the, you know, with, with the craft itself, you know, I, it, it's against me because I'm not able to, I don't have access to, to anything that will help me in that area, you know. So I think that's it actually. I think, yeah, I think that's all 10 questions. Yeah. All right. So Bryce, as you can see, I'm not going to put any socks on him today because it's a pretty um, warm day. So no socks today for you. I'm going to put his red pacifier because he has a little red here in the... Um, a little red in his onesie, like the little fire truck is red. You know, give him a different look with the pacifier. He has on the nice baby blue onesie. And um, actually, because I wanted to take him outside to make the video, I, you know, got him a nice cool bottle of water. Because the side is pretty warm, so I'll just give him a little water. You know. So well, that's it everybody so like I'm I said for the opportunity to answer those questions and I love when the moms you know they become so uh, what's the word I'm looking for I'm not talented um, but I'm not sure the word I'm looking for but I love the idea of when the moms come up with all these creative stuff you know ways to make be so much more enjoyable now I notice with these bottles even though it's sealed I can see his the water just dripping even though his bottle is sealed look at that hey Bryce I need to get you a little bib anyway that's enough for now right Bryce huh that's it so that's it for us for today that's our onesie wednesday and also our 10 questions by uh my sweet cupcake yes so thank you for the questions and um i welcome more questions so take care everybody have a great day bye bye